It's day two of the United Nations Security Council's Counter-Terrorism Committee meeting in India. And the ongoing summit in Delhi is, of course, being held under India's chair of the UNSC's anti-terror panel. And it marks the first ever talks of this sort that are being held in the South Asian nation. The meeting aims are discussing the various ways in which terror and also the emerging technologies that terrorists have been using and the manner in which governments can, of course, address this issue. Now, while speaking at the second session of the meeting on Saturday, Indian External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar warned against the growing global threat of terrorism, particularly in Asia and Africa. Terrorism remains one of the gravest threats to humanity. The UN Security Council in the past two decades has evolved an important architecture built primarily around the counter-terrorism sanctions regime to combat this menace. This has been very effective in putting those countries on notice that had turned terrorism into a state-funded enterprise. Now, S. Jayashankar further warned against the use of encrypted message services and blockchains and also other technologies in terrorism that pose new challenges for the governments across the globe. There is a flip side, especially where terrorism is concerned. These very technologies have also thrown up new challenges for governments and regulatory bodies due to their potential vulnerability for misuse by non-state actors given the very nature of some of these technologies and the nascent regulatory environment. The United Kingdom's Foreign Secretary James Cleverly, who is in India to attend the meeting, also raised some serious concerns about the usage of technology and also influencing the vulnerable people by the use of technology and how governments can in fact counter this. And online incitement and radicalization of vulnerable people in far off countries who have then gone on to use simple rental vans as weapons of terror. So we must continue to work together to fight terrorist ideologies online. Now, the remarks on the need to combat terrorism come a day after India raised the 26-11 attacks at the UNSC's anti-terrorism committee meeting. Now, in a veiled attack on China and Pakistan, the Indian minister also said that the culprits of the attack are still unpunished, as China has blocked at least about five India-US proposals to sanction Pakistan-based terrorist leaders at the UN Security Council since the month of June this year. Now, the CTC meeting is being attended by all 15 members of the UNSC and also the five incoming members. It is being chaired by Ruchira Kamboj, India's permanent representative to the United Nations, with India's external affairs minister, S. Jashankar, also being present. Raise funds and plan attack. And also earlier, my colleague Siddhan Sibyl spoke with Ruchira Kamboj, who is the chairperson of the United Nations Counter-Terrorism Committee, over its meeting in India. Listen in to what she had to say. With me is the chair of the United Nations Security Council's Counter-Terror Committee, and the committee is meeting here in India. My welcome to Vion. My first question to you is uh, the fact that this committee is meeting here in India. What's the significance uh, of this meeting uh, being hosted outside of New York? Well, I think, um, Siddhant, uh, the fact that the Counter-Terrorism Committee is meeting for the very first time in India and also for the first time outside New York in seven years itself makes it very significant. I think India would have made a very strong statement, one, in terms of highlighting uh, terrorism, which continues to be a major threat, and two, in suggesting and um, uh, you know, ways and methods uh, uh, through which uh, uh, all of us as a global community, terrorism being a transnational problem, can work unitedly to uh, uh, push back uh, against this menace. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.